Good afternoon, and uh, thanks for coming back again to check out our video on our 272 Platinum. This coach right here is uh, one going to be one of our flagship models. Uh, it's going to be one of our most popular floor plans. It's going to give you two slide outs, a queen bed, separate bathroom, all in a 26 foot 10 inch motor home. You come with me, try to get a little bit in the shade here. It's hot in Florida. Uh, you're going to see. We have a complete one-piece molded fiberglass body. It's going to give you a great insulation factor, great eye appeal. We all know eye appeals by appeal. Um, and also, it's, it's going to be nice and aerodynamic for you. You're not going to have seams to have to reseal, uh, and the coach is going to hold up for you for years and years and years. Um, as I'm touching here, it brings me right into our, our paint. You know, we're going to start with a white body and a white shell. Um, then we're going to sand it all down for you. We're going to make sure there's no imperfections in there. We're going to seal it all with a sealer. Then we'll start with your base coat. You're going to get different colors. So your colors, you're going to have your base color. They'll put a graphic. You'll get your next color, graphic, next color, graphic. Um, and by your last color, you're going to peel the graphics off and you're going to have these nice, nice lines and designs in your coach. Then they're going to go around. They're going to, they're going to put four coats of clear on. Um, we're going to let that dry, then we're going to sand it and buff it out so your finished product gives you nice depth perception, you have no paint lines here, and it's going to look like that for years and years and years to come. I mean, you can look at some of our 05, 06 Coach House Platinums that are 10 years old, and the paint holds up phenomenally. They look exceptional. If you look here, it's almost hard to see because the paint and everything, it blends so nice, but this is actually a slide out. Um, in, in our slides we offer, in the front slides, a dinette or a sofa, um, and in some cases even a bed. But if you look on our 272, we give you a nice storage space here in your slide uh, to, to fit little you know, odds and ends that you need. And also, we uh, have access to our generator up here as well. Now I want to point out, we, we place the generator towards the front of the coach, because you have your bed in the rear of the coach. So although our coach is very well insulated and our generator compartment is very well insulated, we still put the generator towards the front so you can have a nice calm sleep at night and not have that generator rattling right underneath your head. Um, moving back to the back, we have our exhaust pipe. It has to stick out a little bit here so we don't get fumes in the coach. Um, and it brings you right up into the nice molded wheel flares. Um, that's bolted right into your body so you don't have to worry about anything busting off or getting any rusted screws all along here. Alright, so we're in this molded wheel flare here. Uh, if you also look too, all our Fords come with nice name brand Michelin tires. Michelin's great name. They stand behind their product just like we stand behind ours. We also have an outside shower here. Gives you hot and cold water. It's on a pull out here. Nice long pull out. So if you're 10 feet tall, you can take a shower or you can get your feet or whatever. And it also reaches back here by your dump station in case you had an accident. You can wash off. And you don't have to freeze when you're washing off either because you got hot and cold water. We use a shore power connection just like a boat. So you're going to stick it in there and it screws on. Nice firm connection. Um, and that's going to be a weather weather safe connection too. A lot of our product is going to be based on the marine industry because not only do those things are our houses, but they're floating on water and crashing into waves, so very durable. Um, if you look back here, we put our gas fill in a lockable compartment, which is nice. Um, Keep that compartment locked. You don't have to worry about anybody trying to take your gas or anything like that. Right here we have it's just a little uh, access for our, for our black tank. You can see our tank sensors here uh, mounted from the outside, so nothing's going to get all clumped up on on your wiring and stuff here. Um, and and there's a monitor panel inside, so that lets you know how full your tanks are, so you can empty them uh, when you need to. Right back here we have our little control station, and this is uh, pretty neat how we put everything right in one place here, and also your water connections right up here as well. So if you look here, you're going to have 
your city water connection and it has a nice little thing here so you can shut the door and the hose comes out uh, and you look all nice and uniform. Right down here we offer a standard black tank flush. Um, what this is going to do is you hook your hose up to here and it sprays out into your black tank try to get those solids loosened up so it pulls out of your gravity fill here. We uh, use the standard for years and years conventional dump valves. Um, you have a black and gray tank, black for toilet, gray for shower sink water. If, if this, You can pull this valve in and out, there's not a button to press with a motor so you don't have any risk of breaking and it's not a tube about this big and uh, also less things to break. Low point water drain here. We run all of our fresh water plumbing above the floor level so you don't have to worry about freezing in the winter time as long as your coach stays above 32 degrees on the inside which I would hope you don't want to ride around in a 32 degree uh, coach. Um, your fresh water system will um, not freeze. And we also use a uh, unique type of plumbing that will allow a small amount of flex um, just in case you were to get a minor freeze. A lot of times our customers don't even realize it happened. Um, and it's just precaution if I, if I could say. Now also back here with our control panel we, we put a little LED lights here so you can see at night if you happen to get to the campground late at night. Um, and also we have a valve here which is pretty neat. When your city water connection is hooked up you can turn this valve and fill up your fresh water tank without even having to pull the hose out and go to a gravity fill. Um, that, that's nice. Um, but just in case, we also have a gravity fill on the other side too that I'll point out to you. And then your cable TV connection in case your park has cable or you have a little mobile satellite dish or something you'd like to bring with you. Alright, so back here also by your control station we have, a, we have a fiberglass molded bumper here that we make right here at the factory. And we have this little storage door here and if you look inside, it gives you nice storage right for your sewer hose. So you don't have to worry about seeing these tubes on the back or uh, anything like that anymore. Nice storage center for your hose. If you look at the back of the coach, I, I want to point out again the nose seams. Very uniform look, very clean, clean as professional. All LED tail lighting, we, we try to use all LED as much as we can in the coach. Uses very low voltage, won't run your batteries down as quick and you don't have to change the bulbs once once every year or two. They're gonna last for a nice long time. And we have our LED marker lights, LED tail lights. If you look here, we use a emergency window here just in case anything was to happen. Pop this right out and you can get out and we'll show you more about that on the inside. Nice raised let lettering so everybody knows, hey, I'm in a Coach House Platinum. I'm pretty cool. On the coach here, I almost forgot to point out, you have a nice backup camera here that goes right into your navigation module. So when you put it in reverse, it'll display a screen on your rear view. Um, you can see when you're backing up. And also, if you're towing a little car or something, you can turn that camera on and see your car back there and make sure everything's okay. If you look at the very top, you'll see this uh, spaceship looking disc. That's actually your TV antenna. Um, it's a stationary disc. You don't have to worry about cranking anything up or down. Um, it's an HD antenna, so that's going to give you HD channels. And you just press a little button inside, and it spins inside the actual housing to pick up your channels or get them better, and, or get them to come in more clear. Um, that's been a very great system. We've used it for years and years, um, and we, we have found it to be very successful for us. Coming around the back, you almost didn't notice we got another slide back here. Um, this is going to be your queen, your your queen bed slide. This is your bedroom slide, um, and your bed's going to be in there. We'll show you when you get inside. Also, I didn't point out on the other side. I want to point out on this side is we use slide topper awnings. So when your slide outs out, if you happen to be under a tree or something at your campsite, you have a little awning that comes out, and the debris will fall on top. When, you're, when your slide goes in, that awning's going to roll up and push that debris to the side. Also protect you from the weather a little bit more. You have different various vents on the coach. You have your uh, refrigerator access vent, uh, your furnace vent over here. We supply 110 power right out here where your campsite's going to be. 
uh, a picnic table or you set up your chairs or whatever you have 110 power to plug in a TV or a little fan uh, also on the 272 we have great storage here on your rear passenger side so you have we have really fantastic foldable coach house platinum chairs you can stick them right in here um, and that, they're pretty neat you can store your electrical hose or your your water hose in there as well um, and if you look here too our compartments are on a pr pressure switch and it's hard to see because it's bright out here but we illuminate our compartments all the way along with the uh, LED lighting so it's not just a little puck light if you stick something in there it's blocked you can't see at night it's gonna be the whole entire compartment and it closes or it shuts off with that pressure switch when you close the compartment coming up here Wow another storage compartment just little odds and ends things that you don't want to keep inside you can throw right there and then we also have our batteries on a pullout tray here very nice very easy to use pulls in and out we also provide space for a third battery if you'd like it our coaches have a standard 1000 watt inverter um, so some customers like the peace of mind of having an extra battery so it is available if you'd like it I was telling you about our fresh water fill there is a gravity fill fresh water fill right here if you were to need it you always have that valve back there you can turn when you're hooked up to city water but say you uh, I don't know you're out in the boondock somewhere and you couldn't hook up you just need to throw some water in you could stick it right here also right by your door very easy to pull up you can put your propane fill right here uh, you pull right up to the U-Haul or wherever you happen to be for propane um, they can hook it up right there for you you're not having to move compartments and, and things like that coming up to our entry door here see we use a double step uh, we used to use a single step move to the double step works a little bit easier um, sometimes our knees can could bother us a little bit and uh, this gives you less less of a step up um, moving into your nice heavy PTO door this door is heavy duty this is not a uh, less expensive door when this door closes listen to it I mean it seals and it gives you a nice heavy duty screen door on here as well this screen door is nice it's not not flimsy it's not gonna bend and and create rattles going down the road which is something I'm gonna point out to you here in a little bit as well and it gives you a clear guard here for if you are inside even with the screen it's hard to see in and out you can see right through the clear hey honey grip can you toss me a plate or something for my hamburger Now, something else that's pretty cool about our entry system as well is it's a, it's keyless. So the same key fob that you're going to use to lock and unlock your cab doors, you can use to lock and unlock your entry door. Lit LED grab bar to get in. Double step. Oh yeah, another grab bar right here. Gets you right in and out of the coach very easily. Um, and also too see this door hitting me we have a little little latch right here so you can keep the door open uh, very nice if you look here as well I know you saw it but I didn't really necessarily point it out it's, it's a very nice eye eye catching feature is our molded running boards we put on the coach they're lit with LEDs as well to go to your marker lights so when you're at night you're trying to get in you see lights up very nicely get right in nice solid step for you to get in handle here grab here grab here Lot, lots of handles lots of places to get in and the reason the step up looks a little high is because we had these levelers set up because we're not on level ground right now and it was just as easy as pressing that button to get our coach nice and level so you look here too, we have our Velvac nice extended chrome mirrors, very sharp looking, turn signal actually inside the mirror, so that blinks as well, and also it helps you forget your blinkers on, you look in your mirror, oh the blinkers on, they're double mirrors, 
this gives you a nice round curve mirror on the bottom eliminates almost all that blind spot if there's any left um, and it eliminates the need for side view cameras a lot of customers ask me about the side view cameras and we found that these little mirrors you can look right in them and see if there's anything there whereas when you put use the side view cameras you turn your blinker on then you gotta wait for the screen to click over and then you're trying to take a left turn but you're looking towards the center of the coach it just doesn't make too much sense to us so we'll do it by request um, but we really don't find that there's a need for them with these so looking at this we're looking at getting in here easy I want to point out we have a nice awning that we use it's a Dometic awning it has a actually it has a, a keyless remote so you can do it from a remote um, and then you have your switch right in here very simple to use one touch press the button goes right out we can start setting up while we're while our awnings going out which is really really nice because we're not sitting here fiddling with a crank to crank it out once it's out we're not trying to put arms in or attach them to the side of our coach this awning is on a wind sensor so if it picks up so so much wind it'll automatically pull itself back in you don't have to worry about legs being attached to your coach and wind picking it up and ripping the side of your coach apart or the awning flying over uh, very nice feature very good warranty uh, Dometic you can find that probably 90 percent of your RV dealers out there um, and they back their products very strongly as well all right so we're inside the coach now and if you look we're right in the cab area we have a swivel passenger seat got a nice swivel around added seating for uh, your friends or you if you'd like um, and then you have a six-way power seat for your driver's side we find that with the steering wheel here the seat doesn't really swivel too well so it makes more sense to put power in rather than have two swivel seats it's one or the other uh, we have a nice navigation system here it's going to give you Bluetooth, navigation, Sirius XM radio. Uh, very nice feature on this coach. Um, also hooks through your, you know, the Bluetooth does your phone, does your music. Uh, this is your Ford E450 chassis. Um, and it's, you know, their, their appointments up here in your dash are very, they're, they're nice looking, you know. It's not it's quite such the uh, econo look as we used to see. Nice wood grain dash kit we put in here, um, and it says Coach House Platinum on here. All right, so that brings me right over here. You have your nice cabinet door here. They call this the Tower of Power. So uh, <laughs> it's a tinted glass door here. You can see through it, but the lights—it's going to dim the lights at night, so you're, you can see the lights that are on, but it's not going to bright up the whole coach. It's going to give you your generator start stop switch with a nice convenient hour meter here. You can see how many hours on your generator for service or anything like that. Uh, you also have a level tester here. So you can press this little button, these LEDs light up and let you know how much is in each tank that you have, your LP, uh, and it also lets you know your battery condition if you've been storing your coach for a little while. If you look here, this coach also has the option that we offer the holding, heated holding tanks. Uh, so when you're in that Arctic weather, um, the tanks that are, your black and gray tanks that are underneath your floor level, you can turn this, this little button on and it'll kick your tank heaters on so they don't freeze up. Also, you have your automatic leveling system here. Very easy to use, one touch. to go your coach is leveling all by itself next we have your HWH hydraulics that's all we use in our coaches for our slide rooms and for our jacks is hydraulics HWH system have been very worked very well for us they stand behind their products just like we do uh, and it's a very simple system to use press you just press it out goes right out and what's nice about that system too is there's a nice access panel right here in your step well if for some circumstances something were to happen you can just get in that access panel 
flip a little lever and release your pressure and you can push the slide right in and out. Underneath here, just a little bit of storage. And then opposite side, we have two nice little storage areas for DVDs, books, what, you know, whatever you happen to bring with you. Standing up here, you look at our overhead. 2012, we started cutting this out here. Easy access to get in and out of your driver's cab. And this right here is brand new for our 30th year, 2015 anniversary. Uh, and so on. Some of our models, we created a whole new front fiberglass cap. Now this is not easy for us folks. With our, our building process, a lot of it's done like the boat industry, the marine industry, like I was saying out there. We actually have molds that we build uh, to make our fiberglass parts right in-house, just like our whole body. Well, we actually built a whole new mold to create this front fiberglass cap here that's going to give your, your TV position is going to be over to the side here. It's also on a swing arm. You can view it here from sitting in your dinette. And if you look here, we have nice little match storage. And inside this little compartment, you have a fuse holder for some 12 volt fuses um, for various systems. And also, we have your antenna booster here. This little green light, you turn it on and off. You turn that off, you see what happens to our TV here? That boosts the signal click this little button on and it boosts our signal we have a nice clear HD picture on our on our screen here on our other side here opposite you have your antenna control module press this little button rotates that little antenna up in your spaceship antenna up there gets your channels to come in better more clear and we also we have standard your blu-ray player um, to play Blu-ray discs for your, your entertainment. Right over here, next to our tower of power, we have, this is your awning switch. I was showing you about that one touch awning out there. And then we have all your, your light switches and your battery cutoff switch for when you're storing your coach to turn off all 12 volt power. It's located right conveniently when you walk in your coach. Your grab bars are lit so you can see them very easily and you have courtesy lights in your coach here in your step well and throughout the bottom of the coach that you can see at night. Um, also, as I said, they're conveniently located. You come in at night, your switches are right here. Turn it on and off. LED lit and they're on a dimmer so you can set the mood when you come home at night. Right over here, you have your thermostat for your air conditioner. We use a 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner. Um, that's Dometic and also it's it's all ducted and I want to point out here if you can see Zach look up in this vent We actually use a ductwork through our vent system. It's an antibacterial antimicrobial ductwork uh, So it's not just cut foam throughout your Throughout your roof when you turn your air conditioner on a bunch of foams not going to spray out at you um, and it's going to give you, we're not going to use any 90 degree angles in there. It's going to be 45 degree angles. So you have a nice even airflow distribution through your, through your coach. And then up in your ceiling here with your, with your air vents you have, we use the fantastic power vents. Very easy. Press the little button here. Does it all by itself. That's going to suck that hot air right out for you. And it's also on a rain sensor. So it's not we, we left it on like this and we wanted to go get some lunch and it started raining It automatically closed for us if not press that little switch there And you have two of those in your coach You have one towards the front to keep your living area cool And then you have one in your bedroom to keep your bedroom area cool as well And then you have a small vent in your bathroom to vent your bathroom uh, We our cabinet door faces our Georgia hardwoods uh, very nice looking solid. We use European style hinges with a friction hinge here. Hold your door up very nicely. It's not a gas strut that's going to go in a couple years. Works out very nicely. If you look inside of our cabinets, we finish off inside our cabinets. Um, you're not, you're not going to look in a cabinet and see the, the side wall of your coach. Um, we want everything finished off as much as we can. We don't want you to see any raw materials anywhere inside your coach. 
you look over here in our dinette, our nice slide room, we use Corian countertops, we have a Corian dinette here, and we also use NCD shades. Give you a nice day shade and a night shade completely black out. You're not going to have to worry about the materials holding smells like the old day night shades. You're not going to have to worry about your strings breaking and having to restring day night shades. We also have screened vented jealousy windows here. So you can open the window. It's a jealousy if it starts raining. It'll, it's going to try to hold some of that water out rather than a sliding window that it could come in. Um, and then we have nice LED reading lights. They're not, they're not going to get really hot and burn you. Um, and also your, your eating light here, which is LED. All right, and then also your dinette makes into a bed. This leg bolts up here. Your table lifts right off, sets on the ground. And then your chairs fold together very easily here to make a bed. simple system to use. Underneath your dinette we have storage, full extension drawers so you can get to the back. And they're on posi latches, which is, I'm a big fan of these posi latches. You can see here, a little tab comes out, goes into a groove in the cabinet. All of our drawers and cabinets have those, so when you're going down the coach, nothing's coming out of there. Keeps it nice and secure. You don't want a bunch of creaks and cracks and rattling going on down the road, so this seems to keep it pretty firm. Power recliner, press this little button here. Comfort, baby. And that's not something you gotta try to jam back with your legs. You just press a button. More overhead storage, all finished off, friction latches. Very nice. It's going to be above our galley over here. You have a nice Cuisine Art microwave with a stainless steel hood. Gives you a fan. Nice light in your hood. And this microwave is going to be one of the top of the line in the industry. I actually have one at home. Convection microwave. Cook you whatever you can, you know, think of almost in here. I mean, from chicken to cake to, to Kraft Mac and Cheese. Nice big double door fridge freezer so you're not putting stuff in your refrigerator to freeze it. It's actually a separate compartment. Give you a nice space in there. Space to hold juice or, or concentrate, whatever you, you suits your fancy. Um, and then you have a couple little drawers here. A lot of space for your fridge. Also, we have a little bit more storage. We uh, include a coffee pot for you if you like to drink coffee. We used to build them in and we found that it was about 50-50 chance of if the customer had drank coffee and wanted a permanently mounted machine or if they wanted the storage space. So we just started putting the coffee maker in here for if you like coffee or if you don't, you can uh, give it to one of your neighbors or something. And then also, very, very popular feature, pull-out pantry. I mean, this gives you plenty of storage for canned goods, uh, your little box, box foods, macaroni, um, pasta, uh, rice, whatever, whatever you stick in there. And you have enough room. I mean, you could use half of it for food and half of it for something else, like, you know, whatever you happen to do. Back here, if you look, our hot water heater on this coach is actually an electric engine assist. Uh, another light switch here on a dimmer uh, for your bedroom area. And then your HWH hydraulic room slide for your bed slide. Opposite me, we have your bathroom, which is uh, all in one bathroom. Door opens up. Nice full extension mirror here so you can see when you're getting ready or uh, brushing your teeth whatever you have your shower right in here and you wouldn't think of how big this shower actually is but it is a it's a decent sized shower you can your head comes off here shower up 
nice little towel bar here and a place to set your soap and shampoo and stuff without it falling over. Little sink. Little countertop extension here to use for when you're getting ready. Um, and then you have your porcelain commode here. This is uh, not one of your less expensive plastic little toilets. This is a nice, nice porcelain toilet. Um, and then your toilet paper holder here. Another little mirror for convenience when you're doing your stuff. Um, you have a water pump switch here for convenience. You're in the bathroom. Oh, I forgot to turn the water pump on. I need water pressure. Boom. Got it right there. Um, also, our toilets, we have this little sprayer here. So, just in case, you can rinse out your toilet there. And then you have a little storage underneath your sink here. Just for, you know, a little toothpaste and whatnot. And some overhead storage up here as well for toothpaste, soap, shampoos. So it's a it's a nice size bathroom. Um, you know, we don't spend all of our time in there, so try to keep it kind of tucked away here because, you know, just like I said, we don't spend all our time in there. Over top of our bed here, we have nice overhead storage on oh, these friction latches still. All finished off inside. Brings us to our nice queen bed. I mean, if you look here, that's actually a real mattress. Very comfortable, pillow top. Reading lights, all LED lit, MCD shades on your windows. And also, if you look here too, yeah, these little straps, very easy. Look, I got one finger in there. On nice struts, bed lifts up. Look at all that storage in there. Plenty of storage. Put towels, uh, clothes, any kind of odds and ends that you need. Um, you stick them right in there. Also, on your other side of your bed here, if you look, you have a nice little nightstand with a little bit of storage underneath here. But one of the main things I want to point out about this nightstand is this 110 receptacle here in this nice space. If you needed, you had a breathing machine or something, you needed a plug in, you have space for it right there. And you have a nice big emergency window here. You can vent it if you would like. If you look behind me here, you have a nice another mirror here. Hope you like looking at yourself. I sure do. Just joking. And you have a nice huge closet with latches. Pressure switch on a light so you can see. And then you have a nice little pull-out hanger space so you can hang your clothes. Stick them back in there. Uh, right below your closet, you have your, your voltmeter for your, your inverter. Um, that's going to show you your charge and everything going to your, going to your batteries. Uh, we have your smoke detector here uh, in case of a fire. And then also right up underneath your recliner there, you have your, your LP, carbon monoxide detector. Uh, safety first. Those detectors have to be operational to have your propane work. Um, if you look, we also have a nice bedroom TV we put in here. Also gets HD signal. See nice clear channel coming in there. And another Blu-ray player. And then nice drawer storage here. See, all, look at all this, these drawers here your clothes and then you have your converter right underneath which is going to give you your 12 volt and 110 this is going to convert your shore power to 12 volt power so you can run your lights um, while you're plugged in without your batteries going dead and then if something were to trip you have a little fuse here you can replace or a breaker if it's on 110 we also have a nice privacy curtain here so you can shut the bedroom off if you happen to want to get it, take a nap, and somebody wants to watch TV up front, you know. Now I want to also say the whole time we've been doing this video, our generator has been running, and for most of the time we've kept the air conditioner on as well. So you can see how quiet it is in the coach with it 
with all our, our stuff running. And um, we've been doing this video, and I would hope that you can hear me just fine. It's going to about sum up our uh, 272 walkthrough here. Um, I want to, I want, can't stress enough how hard we work here at Coach House to, to actually get the reputation we have and maintain it. I want to let you know that we are here to work hard for you and we look forward to trying to earn your business in the near future. Please don't hesitate to call us if you have any questions. We don't bite and we're very laid back friendly people. We look forward to hearing from you soon and thanks for, uh, thanks for your time today.